How's it going guys? My name is Savarish and today is going to be really interesting because this is going to be the very first drive of my McLaren LT and I'm taking it to one of the biggest car shows in the world, the SEMA show, and uh, I've never driven it before uh, that long and I don't know if it's going to make it, so no pressure. Let's just start the car up. Oh yeah! So these seats are not exactly meant for people my size. Uh, a little scrunched up in here, but it's okay because we are in a McLaren. Let's put it into sport mode, drive. Now the thing to know about a McLaren, well there's two things. Uh, one is that it's uh, very low to the ground, and two, um, the turning radius is, is pretty, pretty abysmal. So any like three point turn requires like a five or seven point turn. So we're gonna try to get out of this uh, parking lot here without scraping that very, very expensive carbon bumper to lift it up. And that takes, you know, I have to raise the car. Vehicle raising. And this is a four wheel lift. So everything should come up. Just waiting for that to happen. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we're good. Vehicle height raised. Are we good? Clear. It just, just touched the guard. That's fine. There is a giant blind spot with this, uh, this thing in the way this roof scoop but I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's uh, it's necessary that's a, that's a price I'm willing to pay I can't tell you how good this feels
underpass. time to uh <laughs> to make sure the thing doesn't like hit the front bumper and the second we get in here <laughs> oh well yeah that's true so what i like about doing a build like this is actually like putting a nail in the paint or just putting a scratch on it somewhere and then mentally you realize that it's not perfect so that that already kind of takes a, a weight off my shoulders mm. uh, so now I feel like we could just do launch controls inside the thing, right? Yeah, just jump it. Oh, we are officially in SEMA. Make sure not to hit the tractor. Dude, this is awesome. here it's in front of the rag company SEMA booth and I can't I can't explain to you how much this actually means to me because this has been two years in the making I've spent the most money on this car that I've spent on anything ever including my house and I honestly think it's it's super worth it I want to thank all of you for watching the series for helping me along for supporting me uh, everybody that worked on this car i want to thank them i need to get this energy out like i, I need to just calm down relax because I'm, I'm still like super wired this thing drives amazingly and this is just the beginning with this car but until next time this is me reminding you guys that on cars like this that now look amazing and now they're exactly where they're supposed to be you guys need to build them better and to do that you should wrench every day. I'm gonna have to speak up uh, a little bit because uh, I don't have any PA system or uh, microphone or nothing. So what I can say about this car is that it was the most daunting project I've ever had, ever. It's the most expensive project I've ever had. And it's a project that gave me the most sleepless nights. This is a 2016 McLaren 675 LT. At least that's how it started. Uh, when I got the car, it looked like well, it looked like a crumpled piece of paper. It looked a little bit like uh, wrapping after Christmas morning. Uh, it was hitting the front, it was hitting the back. It needed carbon dam uh, it needed carbon fiber work because it had a carbon tub damage. Uh, it had a, uh, oh, I mean, just the, the front subframe, rear subframe, engine, wiring, turbo. I mean, like literally everything. Everything in the car was broken. And uh, over the course of two years, with the help of a lot of people, especially Auto Tempest, the, uh, the series sponsor of this, uh, we really got it together. And I am very, very proud to show you guys this car. Uh, so without further ado, uh, you want to? I'll, I'll go on this side. Oh, you got that side? All right. Yeah. Uh, we just got to get the yeah, pull from the mirror. Yeah, pull from the mirror, make sure it snaps, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is my McLaren LT. So we did a custom paint scheme, which was a shade of blue that was 
It's basically Miami blue, but a lot of pearl flake in it. And we call it Tempest Blue after the sponsor Auto Tempest. Uh, we also have some blue flake inside the carbon. The carbon can all be matte, so we made that gloss. I think it's a little bit more. I think it's a little, it just adds a little bit more of a high, high upscale look. Also, uh, we have some gold accents, and that gold actually goes right back into the engine bay because this car is less of a 675 and more of a McLaren F1 tribute because I got the chance to ride in a McLaren F1 for my series car trek, and that just broke me. Like, it completely broke me in a way where I can never drive another car again without thinking about that car. So this was my little slice of McLaren F1. So we redid the interior completely to reflect that car. We have these Daytona seats. We have a two-tone tan and Alcantara and black theme on the inside. Everything is custom. And we have gold in the engine bay, just like a McLaren F1. So uh, I invite you to come take a look around the car, take some pictures, ask questions. Uh, also, these guys will be giving out uh, some of these goodie bags. I don't know if they already did. Yeah, just come find him. Uh, we have some rag company uh, shit. rags. Yeah, goodie bags. Like, five yep. towels. like five different towels, or four different towels, and a sticker. Yeah. So uh, just go see him, and uh, you'll get your uh, free swag. And uh, come say hi and ask me about the car.